Hi, my name's Brian with Epitor Pest Solutions, and today we're talking about how to get rid of roaches inside your kitchen. And a particular roach we're talking about is a German cockroach. It's got two black bands on the top of the head and the thorax, and it's pretty easily identifiable. Uh, when you're talking about German cockroaches, the first thing you're going to talk about and their location is going to be talking about the appliances. And we'll start here with the oven. Um, roaches like to get up inside the electrical components on your oven. Uh, this is accessible on the back side of your oven, so if you're applying a product that's labeled for this area, it would actually be applied into the back of the oven to get them out of this electrical part of it. The uh, roaches can actually burn these out. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about is your microwave. Uh, some of the microwaves set on the countertop different ways. Uh, they will actually get inside uh, your microwave and can actually can destroy it as well. Moving on from there, we're going to talk about your dishwasher. And on the dishwasher, they like to get down inside the door. A lot of these on the latches here, uh, they'll get down inside the door. Uh, they'll get in around the plastic part here on the dishwasher as well. You've got insulation up around your dishwasher. They will actually get inside the insulation part of the dishwasher. So this may need to be pulled out. On the countertop, you've got the roaches a lot of times will be seen up under the countertop here as well. Uh, coffee pots. Um, they make sure the coffee's empty, the water's emptied out of it. You can flip these coffee pots up and uh, a lot of times the roaches are going to be up inside the coffee pot here. Next thing is probably the, if you've got a heavier infestation of roaches, uh, is going to be inside the refrigerator and you get that by pulling the refrigerator out, uh, making sure the weight is kind of light so you can actually pull it out so you may need to unload that as well. Um, they will get up inside the motor on the back side of the refrigerator. There's a cardboard. A lot of them have cardboard. Some of them have metal plates that will need to be taken off to access up inside the motor. They'll get on the wall back there up against the cabinet uh, down around the baseboard as well. So they'll also get uh, here on this rubber seal on your doors. A lot of times in heavier infestations, you'll find them inside the rubber seals of the door. Moving from there into your cabinets. A lot of times you'll find them on the hinges of your cabinets. Uh, cracks and crevices of the cabinets. Behind the cabinets as well, you'll find the roaches. Uh, outlet plates, a lot of times you'll see the fecal matter around the outlet plate as well. Uh, behind the countertop there, a lot of times you'll have a splash guard. If that's not properly sealed and you've got cracks and it's loose, the roaches will get down the side behind the splash guard as well. Uh, looking further, items up on top of the cabinets. They will actually get inside those behind the cabinets. Wall hangings. Here they'll get behind and pull them out. You'll see the roaches scamper up behind the wall hangings as well. So these are the main areas inside your kitchen that you're going to do. One other area I got to mention, pull your drawers out. A lot of times they'll be up under the drawer here, inside your drawers, where your facial plate on the drawer is. They'll get up inside that as well. So don't forget that area. But basically you're doing a thorough inspection of uh, your entire kitchen and finding the hot spots. And now we're going to talk about how to get rid of roaches inside your kitchen. The first tool that everybody, a lot of people forget to use is a vacuum cleaner. I would not recommend using your household vacuum cleaner. Roaches do have an odor with them that can get inside your vacuum cleaner. So I would recommend using a shop vac or if you don't have a shop vac, Go to Lowe's or Home Depot, pick up a cheaper uh, shop bag, and then go into all the areas we discussed, inside the cabinets, behind your refrigerator, all those areas, and start backing up any visible signs of the roaches, egg capsules, all that. With vacuum cleaners, if you've got a roach infestation of, say, 10,000 cockroaches inside of a kitchen, which is not unusual, um, if you can remove 5,000 with a vacuum cleaner, that's 5,000 you're not having to kill with your products. So,
do not get the vacuum cleaner and that up front first it might need to be used daily for a while going through these areas vacuuming each day any visible signs of roaches as they come out so if, like i said if you can remove half of them you know you're you're, you're helping yourself in the long term uh, product wise i don't recommend products uh, all the products most products will work if they're used properly there's dust there's uh, gel baits, there's li liquids you can use. The one product I would not recommend using is the old, what people call bug bombs. If you're setting off inside your kitchen or in the house, you'll kill a lot of roaches with them. The roaches you do not kill, you're gonna end up running them deeper into the structure. So I'd avoid those at all costs. If you're using your gel baits, on any product you're using, make sure you read the label. Follow all the safety guidelines I found on the label. Any equipment, as far as gloves, respirators, those type of things, make sure you're using those when you apply it. And when you're talking about roach products, more is not better. And remember, the label is the law in the United States. So any product has got a label. If you're overusing that product, uh, you're actually breaking the law. Uh, so remember that. But on the gel baits, they can be applied. A lot of times around your door hinges and areas like that, you'll find the black fecal matter from the roaches that actually has a pheromone in it that will draw more roaches. So applying those gel baits in pinhead spots, not caulk like you see, I'll go into a lot of places and the uh, base of the gel bait's been used as a caulk. So that's not advisable. Use it as a uh, direction safe and it should be applied as a pinhead. There's a thing with gel baits too, it's called bait aversion. And if there's been a lot of gel baits being used inside your house, your roaches could be averse to that bait. And the easy way to test whatever particular gel bait you're using is put a dot of it out where you've got some visible cockroaches. If you see the roaches come up and touch your antenna on that bait and run off, you've probably got a bait averse population. So just be aware of that and you may need to change up some products you're using. You know, another product that's popular with people is boric acid. I'll go into a lot of places and you'll see boric acid plied up against the baseboards and heavy. Boric acid is meant to be applied as a non-repellent product. The roaches actually ingest the boric acid. And if you're applying it in heavy quantities, it's more becoming a repellent and it's not gonna be uh, effective. So thank y'all for joining us today. If we can be of assistance, we're Epitur Pest Solutions located here in Knoxville, Tennessee. And we can be reached at 865-363-1155.